I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is one of the most important videos I've ever made for you guys. We're going to be talking about deep conditioning treatments. Anytime you guys ask me about any type of hair problem, 99% of the time my response is do a deep conditioning treatment once a week. But then the following question is, what deep conditioners should I use? So I'm gonna give you my favorite, therefore the best deep conditioning treatments you guys should be using on a weekly basis. But before I show you my favorite deep conditioners, I think it's important for you guys to understand what deep conditioning is. Deep conditioning treatments and or hair masks are not the same thing as just your normal conditioner. So you have shampoo, you have conditioner, and then you have deep conditioning treatments or masks. There's not really a difference between a deep conditioner and a mask. I think it's just different word choices that companies use, but essentially it's the same thing. Regular conditioner is something that you use after your shampoo, you usually detangle with it, you might be able to leave it on or wash it off. But a deep conditioner is something that you just put in your hair for about 10 to 20 minutes and then you rinse out. You rinse it out because you usually apply a huge ridiculous amount of it and let it sit and soak on your hair. If you are someone that is worried about your hair being dry, about it being frizzy, it not growing, it being damaged by chemicals, heat, or color, you need to be doing a deep conditioning treatment once a week. I personally try to do a mask like every Monday, you know, mask Mondays. I put a hair mask in, I put a face mask in, and I let it sit for 20 minutes. So basically, I'm saying that you're not allowed to complain about your hair being dry, frizzy, damaged, or not growing until you commit to deep conditioning once a week. When applying a deep conditioner, there's a couple different things you could do. You could either use shampoo, a conditioner, and then a deep conditioning treatment, or you can skip the actual conditioner and just do shampoo and then deep condition. That way your hair mask is now replacing your conditioner. If you really need that extra moisture in your hair is just super dry, you might wanna use shampoo, conditioner, and a deep conditioning treatment. I personally have realized that I have been replacing my conditioner with my hair mask. So I put on my shampoo in the shower, rinse it out, put in a deep conditioning treatment, detangle with it, add a little bit more, and then I put it up and away. Once I put all my deep conditioner in my hair, I then grab a shower cap like so. These are literally from the 99 cent store. After I put on my shower cap, I then apply a little bit of heat. No, I'm not grabbing my straightener, don't get crazy. I use my hot head heat cap from Thermal Hair Care. So this is a big kind of like thick shower cap full of sustainable flax seeds that are actually microwavable. So you pop this in the microwave, heat it on this side, flip it out again, heat it on this side, flip it again, 45 seconds each side, then it gets really hot. Then you put this over the plastic cap and let it sit for 20 minutes. This is going to open up the hair shaft, really allowing all the product to penetrate inside your hair. The hot head heat cap is $29.95, and if you wanna get your own, I will put the link below in the description box. And there might just be a promo code for you to use as well. I absolutely love my heat cap. I use it every single time. It's comfortable. I can still edit, do what I gotta do, walk around the house without being tied down to any actual cord from a big old dryer. So now I'm gonna show you my favorite deep conditioning treatments, tell you the price, where to get it, what they do, why they work, how they smell, all that jazz. Okay, so I have about one, two, three, four, five, six. I always have six favorites. These are my six favorite hair masks. Starting off with the most affordable, which is by Maui Moisture. This is Maui Moisture's Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask for dry, damaged hair. Maui Moisture is a very affordable line, and I love them because they have all natural ingredients, meaning there's no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone, has no uh, gluten, it's vegan, eco-friendly, pure coconut water, pure aloe juice, like literally it has a huge list of things that it does not contain and you don't want any of this in there anyways. Now one thing that I love about Maui Moisture and all the other deep conditioners that you guys are about to see, they all are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. I know some of you guys sneak some silicone in your normal conditioner from time to time, but I really extra think it's important for your deep conditioners not to have silicone because these products are just going to be sitting on your hair for 20 minutes. If the silicone is in it, I feel like it's not going to actually penetrate your hair, therefore it's not gonna give you any moisture, or you're not gonna get any of the benefits that it actually claims. So it's really important that you read the ingredients, all of these that I'm about to show you already, Bianca pre-approved, 
and make sure that they're actually going to be helping your hair. This Maui Moisture one is the most affordable one because it's only $8.99 and you're getting 12 fluid ounces. I also love the smell of all the Maui Moisture products. Let's see what this one smells like. Ooh, yes. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. And as you can see, it's a very thick cream. Maui Moisture is found at drugstores like CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, or even Target. This is just one of two of Maui Moisture's current masks. This one is for dry damaged hair, but they also have an agave line where their mask is for chemically damaged hair. So depending on your hair type, just choose your mask accordingly. My second most affordable line is Shea Moisture. These masks are $12.99 and you get 12 fluid ounces in these as well. The first one here is the Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Hair Mask, and it has inbay oil and aloe. It says it's for fine to medium hair, which would be what I have. On the lid, it says it's supposed to deep condition and protect. I just really like the Fruit Fusion Coconut Water lines they have because of the smell. It smells really lightweight, it smells like fruit and juicy and I just like something that smells good. It's gonna be sitting on my hair for 20 minutes. Another great one from Shea Moisture is their 10-in-1 Super Fruit Complex Renewal System. This one has marula and biotin. As you guys know, biotin is usually used for hair growth. And because it's 10-in-1, the 10 things are it's supposed to do age defy, color protect, hydrate, nourish, soften, anti-stress, deep condition, revive body, strengthen, and shine. All in one. This one also has a really nice scent. It's not as sweet smelling as the Fruit Fusion. If I had to choose one off of smell, I'd probably choose this one. If I had to choose one off of benefits, I'd probably choose this one. Next up, we have the Curls Blueberry Bliss Mask. I absolutely love this mask, mainly maybe because of how it smells. Whew, it just smells like a bunch of cotton candy. Like it, This one is super, super, super sweet. Blueberry cotton candy smell. If you don't like the happiness smell of this, I don't know what's wrong with you. So this one says it's Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. Intense reparative deep conditioning hair mask guaranteed to repair damage and enhance growth. So this one is really cool because this is one of the very few deep conditioning treatments that I have that actually claims hair growth right on the bottle. The Curls Blueberry Bliss Mask is definitely one of my favorite masks. It's found at Target or on their website. And this one is $15 for eight fluid ounces. And now for the mask that you probably see me use all the time, which is by Diva Curl. This is Diva Curl's new mask line. So I have the Diva Curl Melt in the Moisture and the Deep Sea Repair Mask. I have both of them in my favorites, but I don't know which one I like better. But I love these because I'm actually able to get really good day one hair after I use them. I have a full video with more details on both of these if you guys want to watch that. But let me give you a quick little rundown. The Diva Curl Melt in the Moisture Mask comes in the twist top like this. And it is a green thick paste. The only thing I don't like about this mask is that it smells kind of weird. I get kind of like a Play-Doh sense from it. But it doesn't smell bad, it's just like weird. My favorite thing about the Melt and the Moisture Mask is this one makes it so easy to detangle your hair. You literally apply it all to your hair, let it sit for like a little bit, and then all of a sudden, all the tangles will literally melt away. So if your hair is super dry and really needs some moisture, I'd recommend the Melt and the Moisture Mask. But if your hair is damaged, you're transitioning, you have color damage or heat damage, then I recommend the Diva Curl Deep Sea Repair Mask. This mask has protein in it, so when you do use this one, really make sure that you wash it out because you don't want to leave the protein in your hair for more than 20 minutes. And it has properties that are supposed to strengthen the hair. I love the smell of this one. This is more like a potpourri, like beautiful fragrance to it. This is Diva Curl Seaweed Strengthening Mask, so it's really going to help strengthen your hair if you have a lot of hair falling out or you need more protein in your hair. And both of these masks are $36 for eight fluid ounces. Now that you know all of my favorites, I want you guys to try at least one of these. Go to the store, read the labels, see what type of hair it is for, and buy a mask that's going to work for your hair and your current hair problem. You have to commit to doing a mask once a week, and if you do, you will definitely see a huge change. Your curls will be more defined, they'll be shinier, they'll be bouncier, there'll be less frizz, less damage, and it'll grow. You literally have nothing to lose.
If you also enjoy and or use one of these masks, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know how you feel about them. Or if you have another favorite, also leave that below so we have more options to try. Before you go, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee, and hit that little subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more videos. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday, and curly hair videos on Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week right here on Bianca Renee Today.